Hello students, myself Gaurav, welcome to my channel, study with Evil Gaurav. Today I talk about human brain by 3D animation. So let us start. So student, uh, you can look uh, on screen that uh, 3D model of human brain. In this brain, the part is frontal lobes that uh, green green part is frontal loop and the next next part is precentral gear so so we can first discuss is frontal lobe what is frontal lobe the frontal lobes are the largest lobes in the human brain and they are also the most common region of injury in traumatic brain injury it is the important for voluntary movement expressive language and for managing higher level executive functioning so you can look next part is parietal sorry precentral gears so Precentral gears is control voluntary motor movements. So friends, next part is somatosensory cortex. It is received information from the somatic sense plus prospective sense. Prospective sense like walk or kick without looking at your feet or being able to touch your nose without your eyes closed so you can uh, you can see somatosensory cortex uh, in this uh, in this cortex you uh, you look uh, uh, the somatosensory cortex uh, control prospective sense and some visceral sense so some visceral sense like uh, area, the feeling of appetite in the stomach or feeling of fullness in the rectum and the bladder. So you can uh, see on the screen the next one is parietal lobes. So the parietal lobes are responsible for process processive. Yeah, you can say the parietal lobes are responsible for processing somatosensory information from the body like touch, pain, temperature and the sense of limb positions. You, you can see uh, the next one is occipital lobe. Occipital lobe the occipital lobe is the visual processing area of the brain. It is the associated with visual parietal processing distance and depth, precipitation, color determination, object and face recognition and memory formation. But you can uh, see beside the occipital lobe is temporal lobe. Temporal lobe. Tem it is the second largest lobe. First largest lobe is frontal lobe, and the second largest lobe is temporal lobe. The temporal lobe is the second largest lobe. They are the most commonly associated with processing auditory with information. Yeah, with the uh, you can uh, say the the parietal uh, sorry the temporal lobe uh, the temporal lobe uh, involved yeah the uh, the temporal lobe responsing uh, responsive view yeah responsible the parietal lobe responsible for auditory information and with the encoding of memory and if you can hide this area 
या यू कैन से कि द सेक्शन ऑफ ब्रेन यानी कि एल एस लॉन्गिट्यूडल सेक्शन ऑफ ब्रेन यू कैन सी दिस टाइप आवर ब्रेन तो यू कैन सी इन दिस स्क्रीन कि द दिस पार्ट इज पोटाम दिस ग्रीन मार्क्ड एरिया इज पोटाम वाट इज पोटाम पोटाम इज द इन्वॉल्विंग इन लर्निंग एंड मोटर कंट्रोल इंक्लूडिंग स्पीच आर्टिकुलेशन लैंग्वेज फंक्शन रिवार्ड कंजर्वेटिव फंक्शनिंग एंड एडिक्शन इट इज अ पोटाम वर्क सो यू कैन सी अपर साइड ऑफ पोटाम इज you can see upper side is putamen is caduate nucleus it is the large largely controlled voluntary skeletal movement the caduate nucleus functioning in learning memory reward motivation emotion and romantic interaction and you can behind the caduate nucleus is lateral ventricle it contains csf jo who you can see on the screen uh, green mark area that called lateral ventricle it uh, contains csf a clear watery fluid that provide cushing for the brain while also helping to circulate nutrients and remove waste so uh, this part remove from here and the behind of putamen you can see this is a lateral globus pallidus this uh, this part is lateral globulus pallidus it is a triangular it is a triangular shape sub cortical structure of the brain it is control conscious and proceptive movement it is some described as the sixth sense sometimes we can say this part is the sixth sense of the brain ya yeah, sixth sense of the human body so uh, this part is hide from here you can see behind the lateral globus pallidus is uh, behind the lateral globus pallidus present medial globus pallidus it is the term used for an output nucleus output nuclei means a, a cluster of nuclei of nerve cells or neurons from the basal ganglia it is responsible for involuntary movements so uh, when you can uh, hide this part yani ki uh, sorry uh, you can hide this part green area marked green area part hide uh, you can see pons 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 uh, pons is the part of our brain stem it is the part pons is the our brain stem or structure that uh, links our spinal cord it handle on conscious process and such as uh, your sleep awake cycle and breathing when when uh, we uh, sleep then control our sleep awake cycle or breathing through pons and uh, upper 
upper upper side uh, of the pons that called caduate nucleus caduate nucleus is a largely largely uh, i can explain i can explain before but uh, i but i will revise ke caduate nucleus is a largely controlled voluntary skeletal movement the caduate nucleus function in learning memory reward motivation emotion and romantic interaction so so we uh, we can uh, we can hide this part and and you can this you can this part is amygdala 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 this part is amygdala you can you can see on the screen a green round shape spot to that called amygdala it is uh, responsible for processing strong emotions such as a fear pleasure or anger it is send signals to cerebral cortex for control consciousness so we can hide this part and next next one is lateral ventricle and uh, lateral ventricle i can explain uh uh it is a it is explained by me before uh, that uh, lateral ventricle is contain csf okay so uh, this part is hide and the next uh, one is the next one is hippocampus who attaches phorynx okay hippocampus attaches with phorynx and phorynx attaches with the pons so, hippo, uh, so hippocampus is a complex brain structure embedded into temporal lobe it has a major role in learning and memory studies have shown that it also get affected in a variety of neurological and physio therapy or yeah so uh, sorry physiotherapy uh, neurological and uh, psychiatric disorder sorry psychiatric disorder we uh, we revise the this part uh, we can revise this part too. hippocampus is a complex brain structure embedded into temporal lobe it has a major role in learning and memory studies have shown that it also get affected in a variety of neurological and psychiatric disorder so uh, we can hide this part and this this part is for an edge who attached bone and hippocampus attached for an edge so for so so for an edge so is a c shaped bundle c shaped c shaped you can see here uh, on uh, on screen you can see on screen that uh, c shape phonics is a c shape c shape uh, bundle of nerve fibers in the brain that act as the major output tract of the hippocampus phonics is the part of limbic system the limbic system is responsible for behavior emotional feeding reproduction and fight or flight response for survival so uh, we can hide this part and uh, 
we can you can see here uh, it is part of cerebellum so cerebellum is a uh, responsible for motor learning sense of body positioning balance and uh, equilibrium fine movement coordination so uh, this is the you can you can say this part is a little brain so you can hide this part after explaining you can you can see here inside the cones is a thalamus inside the cones you can see thalamus it is known as the relay station of all incoming motor and sensory information like hearing taste sight and touch except smell from our body to our brain when a uh, when any incoming motor uh, motor in and sensory information throughout throughout this uh, part our body to our brain so the this part we can hide and you can see this this part sorry uh, this part this part is inferior colliculus and and this part is superior colliculus so so superior colliculus is a part of the brain circuit uh, who, who can transformation of sensory input into movement output this part of the brain circuit of the transformation of sensory input into movement output its major functioning is orienting the animal particularly with eye movements to object of interest in the outside world so uh, we can add this part and we can next define is uh, we define next part is inferior colliculus it is the main auditory center for the body its primary role or signal integration frequency recognition and speech discrimination this part is very uh, useful in our brain so we can hide this part and uh, you can see this part is the mammary body the mammary body is the primary function as a recollecting memory it is a also limb part of limbic system so you can hide after defining this part you can see this is pituitary gland pituitary gland it is the part it is the uh, small organ at the base of the brain that produces substance that affect growth and sexual hormones so you can hide this part after defining you can uh, you can see on the screen this this part is thalamus thalamus <coughs> and this part is mammary body yani ki right mammary body this part is right thalamus and this part is right pons and this part is right pons and this part is 
write corpus column corpus columns it is a thick bundle it is a thick bundle of nerve fibers who connect both hemispheres to each other in our brain it is sent signal to each other for communication to both side of the brain so uh, and next next one is lateral ventricle lateral ventricle uh, i can explain ki uh, i explain ki lateral ventricle is a content of c sub so i explain before so approx all part of brain we explain and uh, this part is spinal cord this part is spinal cord so this this structure after you can hide both side all lobes of our brain you can see look like this is the left part this is the right part and this is the spinal cord and see every Uh, you can see this our brain. Uh, 